Imagine you're part of a military force outflanked by the enemy on a tropical island. You have to rendezvous with another group of soldiers on the other side of the island, but the only way to do so is to traverse a thick swamp filled with deadly crocodiles. If you don't attempt the crossing, you must face the enemy troops closing in on you. If you do attempt it, you face the crocodiles. Do you risk your life in the swamp or put your life in the hands of the enemy? This situation happened to a platoon of nearly a thousand armed Japanese troops occupying Ramri Island in the Bay of Bengal, the northeastern part of the Indian Ocean, in early 1945. Those who survived the battle reportedly didn't fare well when they chose the escape route across the crocodile-infested waters. For six weeks during January and February of 1945, the island of Ramri was the setting for a bloody battle between Japanese and Allied forces. The Battle of Ramri Island was part of the Burma Campaign during World War II and was launched for the purpose of dislodging Japanese Imperial forces that had invaded the island in 1942. The two sides were stuck in a standoff until the British Royal Marines, along with the 36th Indian Infantry Brigade, outflanked a Japanese position. The maneuver split the enemy group in two and isolated about 1,000 Japanese soldiers. The British then sent word that the smaller, isolated Japanese group should surrender. The unit was trapped and had no way to reach the safety of a much larger Japanese battalion on the other side. But rather than accept surrender, the Japanese chose to make the journey. Japanese decided to cut straight through 16 kilometers of dense tidal swampland to reach their objective, ignoring all appeals by the British for their surrender. That was the beginning of a horrific ordeal for the Japanese troops, and most would never be heard from them again. Things went from bad to worse. The mangrove swamp was thick with mud, and the Japanese moved forward slowly. British troops monitored the situation from afar at the edge of the swamp, but they didn't pursue the fleeing troops closely because the Allies knew what awaited the enemy inside this natural death trap, crocodiles. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptiles in the world. Typical male specimens reach 17 feet long and 1,000 pounds, and the largest can reach 23 feet and 2,200 pounds. Swamps are their natural habitat, and humans are no match for their speed, size, agility, and raw power. The Japanese understood that saltwater crocodiles have a reputation for eating humans, but they went into the mangrove swamp anyway. And, as the incident where the American soldiers of the USS Indianapolis would be attacked by thousands of sharks one year later, many of these troops didn't survive. Soon after entering the slimy mud hole, Japanese soldiers began to succumb to disease, dehydration, and starvation. Mosquitoes, spiders, poisonous snakes, and scorpions hid in the thick forest and picked off some soldiers one by one. Crocodiles appeared when the Japanese got deeper into the swamp. Even worse, saltwater crocodiles are nocturnal and excel at taking prey in the dark. One night, British troops patrolling the periphery of the swampland reported hearing panic screams of terror and gunfire emanating from within the darkness. It quickly became apparent that somewhere out there in the dark swamp, the Japanese troops were being ravaged by some evil menace. The British troops stationed there cringed in horror despite the fact that it was being unleashed upon their enemy. The most prominent first-hand retelling of what happened comes from British naturalist Bruce Stanley Wright, who participated in the Battle of Ramri Island and gave this written account. That night of February 19, 1945, was the most horrible that any member of the ML crews had ever experienced. The crocodiles, alerted by the din of warfare and smell of blood, gathered among the mangroves, lying with their eyes above the water, watchfully alert for their next meal. With the ebb of the tide, the crocodiles moved in on the dead, wounded, and uninjured men who had become mired in the mud. The scattered rifle shots in the pitch-black swamp, punctured by the screams of the wounded men crushed in the jaws of huge reptiles, and the blurred worrying sound of spinning crocodiles made a cacophony of hell that has rarely been duplicated on Earth. At dawn, the vultures arrived to clean up what the crocodiles had left. Of the 1,000 troops who entered the swamp on Ramri Island, only a reported 480 survived, with some of them badly injured and mauled. However, death toll estimates vary. 
What the British do know for sure is that 20 men came out of the swamp alive and were captured. These Japanese troops told their captors about the crocodiles. But exactly how many men died in the maws of the mighty crocs remains up for debate. Regardless of what the numbers are, the incident was impressive and horrifying enough for the Guinness Book of World Records to crown it with the distinction of being the most number of fatalities in a crocodile attack. One thing is for certain, when given the choice of surrendering or taking chances in a crocodile-infested swamp, choose surrender. Don't mess with Mother Nature. But swamps are not the only place on this planet where someone enters and then does not come out again. Many forests on our planet also witness dark, true stories, such as the creature that is taking people from a forest in the United States. If you want to know more about this story, click on this video.